Well, we came here to find out if we would really find a true challenger to enable in the market for the Catal pre de trial. It was a fascinating trials day. We saw plenty of things we thought we might see and a couple that we didn't. Starting with a pre niel Cracksman disposed of a pretty inferior field, much as we expected him to. Frank Adesori didn't really have to get very, very serious with him. He wasn't in love with the soft ground. The million dollar question now, the five million euro question if you prefer, is will he run on the big day or not? Undoubtedly, Anthony Oppenheimer, if the choice was let to him, would say, no, that's it, we'll put him away, we'll save him for four years old campaign. It's the great Almanzor question from 12, uh, 12 months ago. They decided to wait to run in the champion stakes. They haven't had a horse this year. It's a big, big call. But what Anthony Oppenheimer did say is that he would leave the decision entirely up to John Gosden as we know also trains in Able. It will be a fascinating storyline over the next probably two and a half weeks. They don't sound like they're in a hurry to make a decision just yet. After that, the Prix Verme was won in uh, really good fashion by Batille. She's a, an improving mare who really, really is coming to herself. I'm not really sure we're going to see her in the art, but wherever she does turn up next, she really has done credit to her connections. David Simcock did a really good job with her last year and Francis Graffar has really reaped the rewards this year. Uh, and Journey ran a much, much better race in second. They only have one uh, eyes for one race for her. That will be the uh, Philia Mares uh, on British Champions Day. She has been second and won that race and they're looking to go back there and win that again. And then the big shock. The pre -foire. it was supposed to be the coming out party in Europe for Satono Diamond. His pacemaker ran around a bit. The ground clearly didn't suit him. And he trailed in fourth behind Genghis Secret. Genghis, I think, is German for Genghis. I think it's named after Genghis Khan, who's a really good horse in his own right. Was unlucky in the German derby last year and thrashed Hawkbill in Berlin last time out. He loves this soft ground. And Adrie de Vries told me that if they get similar situation, similar ground, He's definitely got place chances in the arc. I thought Cloth of Stars ran a really, really good race in second behind him. So he's definitely going to come on for the run. Wouldn't be a surprise if at a big price he popped up somewhere in the frame in the arc. But Satono Diamond, what do we make of that? He clearly wasn't in love with the ground and he clearly wasn't race fit. They've left plenty to work on, as they say. And the next three weeks, he will be burning up the gallops trying to, uh, to make up that fitness deficit. Yashitoshi, Yashitoshi Ike, I should say, his trainer, was clear afterwards, if we have a wet autumn and it gets worse, that really, really will harm his chances. If we get a bit of sunshine and it dries out and they manage to, uh, to get the work into him, he could come back and surprise a few people, but it definitely wasn't what we were expecting here, and you can probably name your price about him now, becoming Japan's first winner of the arc.